Hi, it's Harry from Celebrity Daddy again, and uh, in this particular module, we're going to cover some of the questions that folks have been asking me with regards to chicken preparation. We're focusing on chicken trim. I always get asked the question, Harry, should I scrape the skin? Should I not scrape the skin? Harry, should I use something like uh, this thing called a jacquard to kind of tenderize the skin? And I always get asked also <laughs> if we can use meat glue on chicken. This is called Transgluda Me, so say that fast five times. This is a product that uh, cooks use, uh, especially the modernist cook who want to kind of glue meat together. A lot of teams use the Transgluda Me to glue the skin to the chicken so that when the judges bite the chicken, the skin doesn't come off and it's a bite through tender. So we begin with a basic pillow trim and uh, that involves squaring up the uh, chicken into a rectangle shape. So we trim the bone on one end, trim the meat on the other end to kind of get into a rectangular shape. There's the leading edge fat that comes off. You don't want the judges to be taking their first bite and biting into that uh, piece of fat. Flip it over and uh, you red square up the rectangle on the other side. Drag it out a little bit, trim off the skin. And you flip it over and arrange it so the skin covers it. So that is a basic pillow trim on the chicken. We're ready to begin uh, phase two, which is a pillow trim advanced. And we're going to take you through the process of doing a pillow trim advanced. Flip the chicken over and uh, you want to remove the triangle of fat in the chicken. And it's a little pocket of fat that you really don't want to judge us to bite into. You trim it up with a pair of scissors. I like to use fortunate scissors. So these are the red scissors you see in the video and uh, they are really sharp and uh, they allows you to kind of get into the uh, deep into the pocket with that sharp pointed end of the scissors. So here you go. Here's the pocket where the fat has been removed. So the next step we want to do is we want to locate the pocket behind this little triangular fat of meat to locate the artery and the vein. We use a device called a mosquito and I have the link or uh, you can buy one from Amazon uh, on it and it's a, basically a plier, surgical pliers and it's got teeth on the edges so it's serrated so we're gonna go in and grab the vein here and pull it out gently Let's extract it so it looks like that and then we're gonna go in there next and pull in the blood vein there's the next piece in there this one is doesn't have it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh. We calibrated our weight scale and now we're ready to weigh our chicken thigh. So this one is about 5.4 ounces. So this is about the right size for competition. Some teams like to go lower, some teams like to go higher between 5.2 to say 5.8 ounces. But if you trim them all to 5.4, make sure that every piece has symmetry and has the same weight. After weighing and final trim, the next step is to do skin preparation. We prep the skin on both sides. So on the outer side of the skin, we look for any kind of feathers or hair sticking out. Uh, like here, you can see here, we remove the tiny little bit of feathers. That's very important. I want to draw your attention now to the oyster flap on the back of the chicken. So once you remove the fat and if the oyster flap is kind of too big and it's, it makes the chicken too heavy, you can optionally trim off this piece of meat and uh, the chicken will sit well. So you notice how we tested the chicken by looking at how it sits on the cutting board. If it sits too high, uh, that is the first piece that will come off uh, in the eventual final trim. We'll show you now how we handle the other side of the skin, which is scraping the skin. And uh, we sometimes do this for competition if the skin is very tough. Uh, a lot of times we don't. There's also a few different techniques such as jacquarding using meat glue, which we'll cover in a separate video. But for this video, we'll show you guys how we, you know, one way to scrape the skin. You can use any kind of sharp knife you want. In this case, we're using a santoku. You can scrape it with the edge of the knife, or you can scrape it in a slicing action. Both ways uh, do work. So what you want to do is you want to carefully get the skin off without damaging, uh, breaking through the skin, and get some of the excess fat off. It always works well with your sharper knife. Right, a flat blade is fine, or curved blade is also fine. Shave it off gently and get some of that collagen that's very tough so that when the skin judges bite the chicken's skin on the thigh it's going to be bite through tender and uh, once 
once the skin is looks about right, you drape it back over chicken. Now we get the other side. There you go. Thai chicken, nicely trimmed with the pillow trim basic, followed by the pillow trim advanced, showing you how to pull out the fat pocket, the vein, and the artery. We show you the weighing and the final trim, and we show you the skin preparation on the skin side, and we also showed you the scraping of the skin. If you watch my other videos, we show you how to jacquard it, we show you guys how to use transglutamase and we did a shootout of which one's better. So stay tuned, please uh, subscribe and like our channel. And if you like it, just let me know and we'll make more videos in the future.